This video is sponsored by AppMaker. AppMaker is a Shopify app that converts e-commerce website to mobile app. The mobile app builder helps you create native Android and iOS mobile application. Get an opportunity to grab 15% off by being the first 200 signups. Get the link in the description. Hello, welcome to Educate E-Commerce, your one-stop destination for Shopify tutorials and e-commerce solutions. So today in this video, I'll be talking about how you can build an upsell and cross-sell funnel to increase your business and sales on your Shopify store. So uh, by using an app, which we are going to use the reconvert upsell and cross sell app where you can add a uh, purchase one click uh, upsell funnels and thank you pages onto your store. And this helps you with the upselling and cross selling. So this upgrade you to an advanced and more expensive products and help you in the uh, getting average uh, order value high. So we will be seeing how this works and how you can add uh, customize your own funnel for your store. So for that, uh, this is the app. Uh, I'll just click uh, add the link in the description. You can just click onto the link and you'll be taken into the apps page. You just have to add this app, click on add app and uh, it will be added to your Shopify store. After clicking on add app, you can just go and install the app and the app will be installed and you will be taken into the reconvert uh, dashboard. So the reconvert app comes with a 13 day free trial and you can just try it with uh, clicking on let's go. There are other packs as well. So we'll be exploring that as well in the end. So you can just click on to approve for the 13 day free trial. So first of all, you will be taken into this basic page where uh, you will have to uh, enable the uh, post purchase page onto your Shopify store. So for that, you can just click on to post purchase page right here and it will take you to the settings page where you will have to enable the post purchase. So uh, let's go down, let's scroll down, right? And here the post purchase page will be uh, uh, here and you can just click or select the reconvert app cell and cross sell app for your purpose and just save this. So once this is done, let's head back and you can click on to check status and the post purchase app will be now uh, uh, assigned to the reconvert app. So I'm just going to click on to start now. So uh, to start with, uh, uh, the reconvert upsell and cross sell app already gives you with a conversion monster funnel. So using this, you can uh, start off with the basic funnel where you can have where you have a few options. So uh, these options consist of the first upsell, then downsell, and then the second upsell. So once uh, uh, when a customer is purchasing an order and the order value is uh, let's say $200 or something. So after purchasing that order, you will ha you can place uh, another product of a price that is more than that $200 and then have a 15% off for that first product. So if they decline the offer, you can ra uh, ramp up that offer to 30% uh, on the same item. So if they again accept the offer, you can offer them at the 30% and uh, if both of them decline on the uh, other two options, then you can give a thank you page and upon accepting, you will be taken into the checkout page. So those are some options that is given by the conversion monster funnel. So we'll be uh, taking you through that. So here you can directly give a maximum discount. For example, it's the 30%. So what's the most number of uh, discount that you can give? It will customize according to that. So here I'll change the 20%. Then this 15% is now, uh, now came down to 10 and the 30% came down to 20. So that's how that's how this works and you can just click on to publish reconvert. So the first uh, monster funnel will be uh, published. So it is a, a pre-made uh, monster funnel that you can use for your store. So this is a basic funnel and uh, you can edit this however you want. So you can just click on to dashboard and you will be taken into the uh, reconvert dashboard. So this is what a uh, dashboard looks like of the reconvert. And here you can see that how many revenue is generated through this app and how many offers are accepted, uh, order value, ROI, uh, which is the re uh, return of investment, the AOV, the uh, conversion rates, all of these will be available right here in the analytics section in the dashboard. 
so after that there are uh, some default funnels uh, there are uh, all the funnels that you create will be available right here and also default thank you pages top thank you pages uh, activity reports everything will be available in the uh, dashboard so first of all we're going to edit the uh, conversion monster funnel or i'll just uh, head you more about this so you can just click on to edit so here you will be able to you will be able to see that when an order is complete there will be a trigger point when the uh, for all order you can just click on to all order a trigger will be given for every order this upsell funnel will be uh, there so i'll just show you more on this so the first upsell uh, is uh, for a, an expensive product that is purchased for the uh, purchased by the customer so whatever is the expensive product you can uh, give that for the same product for a 10 10% 10 off so if they decline that offer you can downsell that uh, product for again 20% so you gave an 10% off they decline it you can give a 20% off then if they decline it again you can go to a thank you page so again uh, if they accept that first offer it will take you to uh, the second upsell where another product uh, a shopify recommended product will be available for the upsell so uh, if they decline it there is a thank you page and again if they accept it again a thank you page where, where the conversion uh, where uh, you will be taken into the cart page so again here if they uh, accept the downsell the thank you pages will be there after the order uh, order is given so you can edit this however you want you can just click on to this pencil button here to edit and it, it can it will take you to a page customization option where uh, the upsell play upsell page how the uh, after the confirmation of the order there will be an upsell page and you will be able to edit this uh, page so here we have the title which is this uh, so you can edit the title the first upsell uh, which is of the same product so this is the title and it says it's not too late get grab a 10% off so you can edit that offer how you want now this you can uh, display it above the offer or the uh, below the offer so you have the option for that as well now the product option so what product should be uh, displayed right here will be decided on this uh, setting so you can either choose the most expensive product uh, in that purchase or you can uh, use another uh, tools third party tools to do that or the shopify recommended product you can also do that so if you just cl uh, click on the shopify uh, recommended product it will be a different product that is recommended by the shopify all right so uh, this is the main uh, the main price this is the discounted price then again this will be a 10% off that will be applied to the order so that's how uh, it's going to look like and also uh, you can uh, choose the size of the upsell extra large upsell or just a small upsell the size uh, size will be reduced so you can choose what uh, what type of thing that you need and also uh, there will be other option as well sliders of the image sliders uh, the style of the page etc so uh, that is about the product option so this is the product option setting now the discount and shipping so you can either choose it a fixed discount am amount maybe a 50 50 rupees off of or anything or you can choose a fixed uh, percentage discount so if you want to increase you can increase to like 15 percent or uh, like how much you want for that how much you can you will be able to afford it that's what it says here and you can only apply for an order of above x you can also do that so x amount uh, you will be able to add then there are other uh, options as well to uh, know the settings and all of those things now you can choose a, a timer uh, for like 5 minutes or 10 minutes how uh, however you want you can do that and after that uh, offer expired option will be there so you can just click on to preview offer so here it will be looking like the offer expired so this is the live option and then the button so this is the button pay now button or uh, order now uh, hurry up or you can do any of those then this is the decline offer option is also there and that's how uh, a upsell page is going to look like again uh, if you go and edit uh, let's go back the same thing goes to the uh, downsell page and also the uh, thank you page the thank you page is very much important because they have declined all the offers that you have given so you can edit that thank you page uh, according to you how you want to customize your thank you page you can do that so just uh, let's go and edit a thank you page 
so uh, the thank you page consists of a left area and a right area so uh, right area consists of the orders that you have already placed so these are the this gives the idea of the uh, what the order is and how uh, how much amount the customer has spent now you can customize this page how you want uh, according to how you want to upsell and downsell your products so uh, here we have a left area if you just click on to left area so this will be the left area here you have a thank you page now there is uh, some products that is being recommended by uh, the customer so you can add that then there is the order confirmation details and also tracking number so the tracking number is very important so that you don't have to do uh, a, a special tracking for them then you have a uh, order share your order on social media that's also very important then the customer information you have all those things so these are the some default thing that's given by the shopify now you can add other sections for example if you want to add a call to action you can add that if you want to add a new collection list you can also buy this etc you can also do that now post purchase uh, service so uh, you can also add that in this section now reorder button so if you want to reorder reorder now and get x percent off so that gives a reorder button as well so if you want to add that you can do now product upsell again if you want to add any particular product in this section you can uh, definitely choose that so uh, also if you want to add a specific video for thank you for purchasing uh, something like that you can also add this i'm going to add this option right here and you can uh, edit the video uh, how you want i'm just going to show you how this is going to look like i'm going to uh, place it over here in the section so it will be like uh, thank you now there is a video uh, you can edit the content and edit the page then you have a some order recommendations now you have the order confirmation details of the customers all those things are here now if you just go back to the right area here you will be able to see there is a birthday collector so you can uh, you for a small business like uh, you are doing you can uh, connect with your customers through the small uh, little things uh, and how you can engage with your customers uh, giving a special offers on their birthdays etc then there is a product upsell option so again you can edit this the title uh, or what or which product uh, should be recommended all those things i'm going to add another section here as well let's add a image with the text you can add any image so uh, again i'm going to edit the space um, add and here you can choose an image now here in the text i'm going to write so i'm going to add this text so you can add another image so this is just an example of what you can do in this area so uh, that's another thing so i'm just going to save this so a thank you page page is done and also a uh, uh, upsell funnel and uh, downsell funnel is also done so i'm just going to back and i'm going to save this so this is the conversion monster funnel so you can also build a custom funnel for yourself all you have to do is you just have to go back and here click on to create a new funnel and it will take you to explore free trials you can just click on to empty funnel and here you can do the same thing of what you want to do so here i'm going to add a trigger i'm going to click on to order details and parameter will be my order value so my order value so when our order value is greater than let's add uh, 300 so if our order value is 300 then this is going to trigger and i'm going to add a uh, upsell uh, upsell for either upsell for 10 percent or 20 percent or however you want you can add that now uh, this will take you to the uh, upsell page so you can edit the upsell page on uh, how you want to want it to look like again the same process of editing this page so i'm going to uh, save this uh, this is my upsell page now again if you want to add a downsell you can add that or you can just add a thank you page uh, i'm going to use the conversion monster thank you page and here if they accept it uh, the, again there will be another thank you page and uh, i'm using uh, i'll create a new thank you page from here click on to empty template and this will be the basic one i'm going to add few things over here add section and the first thing will be birthday collector widget uh, oh no uh, we'll add that in the right side so here i'm going to add a product upsell 
so here is the product capsule i'm going to add that now i'm going to also add a reorder option so here let's go now the reorder option is also here so all these uh, these things are done and i'm going to uh, just uh, play, change the space now the reorder button is there now here let's go to the right side and i'm going to add a section of the birthday collector widget so that's very important i, I feel then uh, let's go back and i'm going to an add another section so here uh, social follow buttons i'm going to add that so you can add the links here so these are the social follow button and the birthday collector i've just added the side and uh, i'll save this This is a simple uh, funnel so i'm i have just shown you how you can create your own one so let's go back uh, no, i'm just saving this so the funnel is done and now you can activate it by clicking on the status here you can just enable this so these are the two funnels so this, this is the default funnel and this is the uh, second funnel where uh, when the order is above 300 this funnel page will be there so i've just created that so again if you want to edit your create a new thank you page or all those things you can uh, edit that now uh, all the activity reports will be displayed over here and then uh, if you want to have any other settings as uh, another details on how the dashboard the conversion rates all those things will be displayed right here so let's go to our store and let's see how a page looks like so let's go back to our one of the orders one of our previous order on how uh, page is going to look like so let's let me take up old order where the conversion for the funnel was not used and i'm going to uh, view the order status page now this is what an order status page looks like before the upsell funnel now uh, let's go back to our store and uh, order a new product and let's see how the uh, how it's going to look like in my page so let's go to the sales and let me order a few, uh, few items. I'm going to add this and I'm going to add this product. And let's say I'm going to add this one as well. Okay, this product is sold out. Uh, let's leave. All right, uh, so here we have the cart button. So this is my total order value. I'm going to check out. Let me complete the payment. Okay, so the order is complete. Now let's see uh, how our, uh, this is coming up. All right, so we have a custom page, our upsell page. Now, if you want to accept the offer, you will be taken into, uh, you, you can pay now and click on to play now. If you decline the offer, it will take you uh, to another page of the thank you page. So here, the order is confirmed is here. And here you will be able to see a one time offer. So you can also, uh, if you want to click on to maybe later, it will, uh, if your customer click on to maybe later, a new option will be there or you, uh, they can click on to shop now. So it is a 20% off for everything offer. So you can enable and disable that as well. So I'll just click on to maybe later. So here you will be able to see that there is a discount code and reserve for the next 19 minutes. Now here there is a video uh, that we have added. Now there is a upsell of the product recommendations and the social share button is right here. The uh, product upsell, the birth date. So you can choose the birth date and submit your birthday, the product upsell and the uh, text that we have added is also here. So uh, this is what our uh, upsell offer is going to look like. So this is going to improve your uh, average order value and also sell more products through this, this thing. So uh, I hope this video helped you in uh, bringing out uh, more, most of the how your customers want to order more and would want to order more through this option. And I hope this video helped you. And if you like this video, give a big thumbs up and we'll see another video. Bye.